Hey, Trev, it's Trevor Gross from CUTigers.com. Um, how do you feel? Um, are there any lingering effects? How's your respiratory system? And, and how difficult was it just to be on the sideline watching uh, on Saturday night? Yeah, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling, you know, normal. Um, back to my old self. Feel good. No more symptoms, really. I mean, still taste and smell are a little bit weird, but uh, I feel great feeling normal. But, yeah, it was – Definitely tough being on the sideline and not being able to play, but um, I'd rather be there than be at home watching and just, you know, any support I could offer, any, you know, extra set of eyes, whatever it was, some, some help for DJ, whatever it may be. I was just glad I was, you know, there to be a part of it and just be with the team. Obviously, it didn't, didn't go our way, but um, wouldn't, have, wouldn't have wanted to be anywhere else. Hey, Trevor, it's David. I guess what came first, the chicken or the egg? Did you find out from the test or, or did you start to have symptoms first? Yeah, so um, I guess really after I found out that I was positive, I thought back and I was having some mild symptoms earlier in the week around Monday. Um, but I really just thought it was a cold. You know, I'm, I got bad allergies as it is and was just stuffed up and had a little bit of a headache. Uh, so I didn't really think anything of it. You know, still practiced. Um, it wasn't even really bad enough for me to go see the trainers as far as how I felt. Um, didn't really feel that bad. And then Wednesday night before my test came back Thursday morning, I started feeling worse. And then Thursday morning when they called me and told me that I was positive, I felt really bad on you know Thursday and Friday as far as just like flu-like symptoms. Um, but then after Friday, I felt good. Started feeling better every day and was, was back to normal pretty quick. But it was probably about two days of feeling um, pretty bad, but that, that, was, that was it. Trevor, it's Pete at AP. Were you scared at all? Were your parents worried about it? I mean, you know, a lot of us haven't gone through it. Uh, I mean, I think there's a little bit of uh, concern just because, I mean, the virus is, you know, there's it's a small chance, but it could have some lingering effects and could um, – could be bad. So, I mean, there's a little bit of that, but I, for the most part, I felt, you know, I felt good. I just did what our trainers here told me to do, took some, some medicine, some vitamins, all that stuff to try to get back to normal as quick as possible. And it, and it worked. And, you know, thankfully I'm, I'm still healthy and, and feeling good, but um, yeah, I mean, I think there's a little bit of concern just because of uh, the nature of the virus, but um, I'm, I'm feeling good. So I'm thankful for that. Trevor, this is Grace Rayner from The Athletic. What kind of physical activity, if any, have you done? I guess kind of what's, what's next with the reacclimatization stuff? Yeah, I, uh, you know, when I was still in isolation, I did a little bit of stuff on my own just to try to stay, just whatever I could, obviously. Uh, as I felt better towards the end of my quarantine, I started doing some stuff um, just on my own. And then uh, not too much, though, but then when I came back, um, I was here Thursday. It was my first day back. And. Um, threw a little bit at practice, didn't run around too much. And then obviously we were gone this weekend and yesterday, Sunday, I came in and uh, worked out and ran, did some agility stuff and just trying to get back to normal and um, felt pretty good. Obviously a little out of shape just from sitting around for over a week. But um, other than that, no, nothing crazy. You know, I feel normal. So it's good. good. Trevor. What kind of things could you do on your own? Like, what did that look like? You know, just uh, like at my, at my house, I have a little net. So I threw a couple of times in the net um, just as much as I could. And then just moving around a little, some drills or some movement stuff. Um, but then just like some body weight workout um, things. But that, that's pretty much it. Didn't do too much. Just didn't want to push it too hard until I got back. But I did just a little bit. Trevor Brad from Clemson SI. Um, if, I, I know you get a whole extra bye week to get ready. But if you had to play on Saturday, could you? Oh yeah, for sure, for sure. I felt um, I felt good, honestly, this this past weekend. Um, but yeah, I'll definitely be I'll be ready. Hopefully, um, just talk to still got to talk to the trainers and stuff to figure everything out. But hopefully, I'm back in practice um, just like normal this week. So we'll see. Trevor, uh, Larry Williams with Tiger Illustrated here. I guess on the outside, there was maybe lots of uh, I guess maybe lack of understanding or clarity about the post isolation process of phasing you back in and the cardiac part of that, I guess people are saying, well, wait a minute, if he, you know, a, a, a test, a screening takes 10 minutes, how come he can't come back and play? Can you maybe just help enlighten on what that process 
was like for you and what the reasons were for sort of that phased in process being longer maybe than people on the outside maybe um, thought it should be? Yeah, so um, well, I had my positive test on Wednesday. So the your quarantine either starts 10 days from your positive test or the onset of symptoms. So like I was saying, I had some some mild symptoms on Monday. So that's when my 10 days started after I found out that I was positive. So came back to the facility Thursday and the protocol, the cardio, the cardiac stuff and, and checking out your heart with the scans and all that, you know, that takes a few days. So there just wasn't any way that I could get all that stuff done Thursday before we left on Friday, you know, around noon to go to the game. So it just wasn't, you know, they you know, we were trying to figure it out, but there was just no way to do it to, you know, make sure I'm good too. So obviously we wanted to do those scans. That's part of the protocol is you got to go through uh, all the scans, but also conditioning, make sure your heart's good and get back in shape. So you have to do all those things. It just would have been impossible to do it before uh, we played Saturday. So that was all, that was all it was. Obviously people don't really understand. See me on the sidelines. They think I still have, you know, COVID. It's like, obviously, I don't still have it or I wouldn't have been there and, and risk, you know, the team's health. So didn't have it on this weekend when I was there with the team. So that was just to clear that up. But, um, but yeah, that was all it was. Trevor, this is Matt with the state. Uh, what, what was your reaction when you learned that you wouldn't be able to play it at Notre Dame and how quickly did you know that that was probably um, off the table? Uh, I probably knew Saturday of the last Saturday when we played Boston college, uh, I talked to coach Sweeney and, Danny Poor, our trainer, and just kind of talking about it. And I was asking him, like, what, is, what can we do? Like, is there anything I can do to help on my end or whatever? And they said just – Danny said there's really no way that we can uh, be in a position where I can play. So, Coach Sweeney, you know, we talked about it. And he said he, after the game he was probably going to say something just to go ahead and, you know, get that out of the way, let everyone know that I wasn't going to be able to play. So, I knew Saturday um, of the D.C. game that I wasn't going to go. What was it like being up there and, and taking it in and the environment and everything and then also not being able to play, I'm sure it was hard. Yeah, I mean, it was uh, – it was – it just, you know, obviously um, I hate that I wasn't able to play. It's such a cool experience and really a once-in-a-lifetime experience to get to play up there. But, I, like I said, I was grateful I got to go and at least, you know, be there for it. Super cool place. Um, obviously a lot of history. And uh, it's just a cool thing to be a part of, but definitely wish I could have actually played. It would have you know, meant a lot to me. But like I said, can't do anything about it, but I was just glad I was there to support my, my team. Hey, Trevor, it's Josh from the Posting Courier. Just to follow up on your sense of taste and smell, you said, are those starting to come back a little bit or just not, not really at all right now? Yeah, they're, they're starting to come back a little bit. It's still kind of weird. I can, taste, uh, I can taste better, but still smell is a little bit a little bit off. Um, something's really strong. I can smell it. But yeah, it's 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 a weird, weird thing. Hey, Travis, Trevor, again, you mentioned um, being able to coach up DJ a little bit, especially on, on Saturday from the sideline. Just what were some of the, the things that you were able to impart from him just from from your experience? And uh, how, how proud are you and, and pleased with with the way he's played in each of the last two games? Man, I'm super proud and happy for him. I think it's just um, testament to how hard he's worked he's prepared uh really well every week like he's the starter so then when you know when he was the starter he was ready and that's something that I think a lot of guys can take from from him is just being ready uh but yeah I'm super proud of him he's played really well the past two weeks obviously uh, a couple days ago didn't didn't go our way like I said but I was proud of how he handled it you know he's kept his poise was composed and really uh, put us in a position to win. And it's just, like I said, it uh, didn't go our way, but I think he played really well. And I think just being there, uh, a couple things I felt like I could maybe help with is just situational understanding football. I think that's something that you gain through playing a lot and just through experience that I've gotten to get, you know, as, you know, as my career has gone on here. So just knowing the situation of the game, I think is huge. And obviously he has all the ability in the world. I'm not going to really necessarily help with that, but um, just, I think, just mentally, situational um, football was something I could help with a little bit. And then just having an extra set of eyes. Obviously, I know what it's like to be out there, and I kind of see what he's seeing. So just um, us communicating with, with, you know, Coach Streeter and Coach Elliott and Coach Sweeney, all those, um, all the coaches, uh, I think that helped a little bit too.
Hey, Trevor, it's Chase Goodbread with NFL.com. I've got a non-COVID question for you about how you handle all the popularity. Um, when you're out and about and you'd rather not, eyes, can you just go with a, like a sunglasses and a hood or, or do you have to get more creative than that? Yeah, I, I don't really, honestly, I don't really go out too much, but um, sometimes yeah, a hoodie is usually my go-to, but then everyone's wondering who the super tall guy is with the hoodie on. So it's hard to avoid attention when you're six, six. So, um, but no, I mean, it's just one of those things where when I go out, I'm just prepared to, you know, I have to talk to people and, um, it's just part of it. So I've gotten kind of used to it, but obviously I pick my spots. If I'm not in the, in the mood to really get uh, bombarded, I just will stay at home, grab some food to go, whatever it is. But yeah. is, is it an issue in Cartersville too, or just around Clemson? Uh, I mean, it's just, I, I guess I just know more people in Cartersville. So it's a little bit different. Um, usually the people I see, I know. So um, a little different, but I still probably talk to the same amount of people. Thanks. Trevor, Pete at AP again. How much do you do this week to kind of keep everybody's spirits up a after a loss? It's not something you guys are accustomed to very much, especially during the regular season. Is And how important is that going forward with you? Yeah, I mean, obviously, as a leader, just making sure we're all kind of resetting after that um, game. I mean, not only, obviously, like you said, we um, we lost, but two, just such a hard-fought game. A lot of guys banged up and um, kind of laid it all on the line that game. And so just making sure that everybody's coming back ready to work, I don't think that's going to be an issue. Uh, it's never been an issue here. I mean, every even when we win, we're ready to get back to work and attack the next week. So I don't think that's going to be a problem. But – um, just, I guess just, you know, ensuring that everyone's ready to go. And I, I think they will be, but, you know, this is a good time for a bye week so that we can reset, get some guys healthy um, and just, you know, get ready to make this championship run that we're, that we're ready to go for. So I, for me, it's just, um, I'm just happy to be back really. It's not, not fun sitting at home for a week or two and just having to watch two games. Um, it's definitely not, not ideal. So I'm, I'm glad to be back. I'm going to be, you know, excited just to be practicing again this week. And I think we'll be, we'll have a really good week of prep and get ready for Florida State. Hey, Trevor, it's uh, David with ESPN. Uh, I'm curious, I'm sure you have a, a, a helpless feeling on a sideline in a game like that, but do you feel like things might have played out any differently if you had been on the field? Um, do you think that the outcome of the game might have been different? You know, who knows? Um, I think it's obviously. Football is such an interesting game. Um, you just look back. I mean, DJ made a ton of plays that are that were great. So I mean, there's just things that you know. Who knows how it would have gone if I was playing? Um, obviously, I would have loved to have been in there and try to do everything I can to win the game. But um, at, at the same time, DJ played really well, and I was proud of him. And obviously, that's not an easy situation as a freshman. And he was prepared and, and did everything he could. So um, I don't know. To answer your question, I, I really don't know. But um, you know, obviously it was something I would have loved to have been able to play for sure. Uh, one other quick question, and you may not know the answer to this either, but do you have any idea where you might have contracted the virus? I'm sure you have been going out of your way to try to be uh, careful as I'm sure everybody has, but, but you know, not always the easiest thing to do. Have, have you, were you able to kind of piece together any uh, answers on that? Yeah, I honestly don't know. I mean, um, since all this has been going on, especially during the season, I haven't really, been in big groups, try to avoid that. Um, but the way this thing is, you can track it back to, I don't know how many people and you think, well, I could have got it here, could have got it here. So I really honestly don't know. Um, I try to keep my circle tight, but with this thing, it's just, it's hard. Uh, you don't know when people have it or they don't know if they have it and all these things. So I honestly, I don't know. Hey Trevor, it's and uh, what did you do with all that time in isolation? Uh, just, I, I, you know, first just use it to rest. I was pretty drained just for, you don't realize how tired you get from the season, just preparing every week and you're, there's not an off day. I mean, Sunday is our one day that we don't really have anything, but still you're in here getting treatment and I uh, get a little workout in on Sunday and then watching film and doing any homework you have before you know, the week gets started. And then, and then after Sunday, it's every day you're practicing, working out, I got class, all those things. So you don't really have much downtime and, I used the, the first few days just to really rest, sleep in, give my body a break. And then after that, um, 
obviously I tried to stay up on the game plan for Notre Dame, watch a little bit of film uh, just so I can contribute in any way. But um, really just, I would say the main thing is rest and then mentally just kind of reset and just get ready for when I come back and, and be in a, in a good mental space to, to lead the team and also play, play well down the stretch. Trevor, what was it like mentally, just as a follow-up to that? It, it was hard. I mean, uh, the good thing was, I, you know, tried to look at the positive side, you know, as after a couple of days, obviously it's really frustrating at first because you can't really do anything. Um, and you know you're going to be out for an extended period of time. But eventually I kind of, you know, flipped the page and looked at the positives. You know, like I said, it's a chance for me to rest, rest my body, rest my mind, um, and get ready because it's a long season. So um, it's almost like I got like three bye weeks of rest because now we have an actual uh, open date. So uh, that was, you know, I think that's a positive from it. Um, but other than that, I mean, I think that was the, that, the other part was just challenging, not being able to be here with the team and, you know, they're working and getting ready and um, just not feeling as much of a part of it because I can't be there physically. So I was in all the meetings on, you know, virtually on Zoom, but it's just not the same as being there. And um, it's just, you miss that. So I think mentally that was the hardest part is uh, not feeling like you're really a part of it just because it's hard to be. Trevor Brad from Clemson SI again. What do you think this team needs to do to make sure what happened against Notre Dame doesn't happen again this season? I mean, nothing changes for us. Uh, just keep preparing, um, treating every week like it's a championship game. I mean, taking it one week at a time. And truthfully, I mean, we still, I think we still control our own destiny. And uh, just take, like I said, just taking it one week at a time, worrying about Florida State this week. And then after that, we'll, we'll, we'll flip the page. But that's the only way we'll get to where we want to go is if we take it one week at a time, prepare and, and, and execute, play well, um, I think, in the game. As you know, some of the mistakes we made, we were still we still had a chance to win, which says a lot about the team. I think we have a lot of heart. Uh, never quit. Obviously, we were down I don't know, ten or thirteen points in the first half, and um, did a lot of bad things, and still put ourselves in a, in a position to win the game, which says a lot against a, a really good team like Notre Dame. Uh, we just got to clean it up, though. You can't, um, you know, just we can't give them points on offense and defensively. You know, just all all the way around, we got to get better. Um, and we will, but uh, it, like I said, I mean, it's impressive that we were in a position to win the game. Is some of the mistakes that we made that were critical, we still found a way to scrap back. And obviously, we're down a lot of people. And, you know, not really an excuse, but just I think this week's big to get people healthy and kind of get back to our normal selves. So uh, we're going to really uh, take this week and get better, and it's going to be good for us. Hey, uh, Rich Trevor, again, I got, we now know that after all this, you have six games left. If everything goes right and you make a college football playoff and, and a national championship, that six games for you in your Clemson career if you go pro. Have, did you take some time to think about that, to think about this final stretch and what you want to accomplish personally as a team in, in this final go around for you? Yeah, I mean, I, I definitely thought about it. nothing changes as far as, you know, my goals and what I see um, for this team and for myself. Uh, that I, those are still the same, but just to get uh, more time to really let that sit in that, you know, if I do decide to to leave after this season, I, really, I only got one more home game. We have three more regular season games, but only have one more home game. Um, so that's just kind of surreal knowing that that, that game, like, I think we played Pitt. Uh, it'll be my last home game if I decide to leave and just all those things. And just I just want to maximize it and make the most of it. And I think that comes from just working every day, not looking too far ahead, but just season every day and making the best of it, winning the day. And that's what I'm going to do until um, obviously I'll have a decision to make, but uh, I'm going to just make the, the most out of every day. Hey, Travis, Trevor, again, um, you, you mentioned the uh, mistakes a minute ago. It was a rough game for Travis. Obviously, he had the, the fumble for the score. Um, he's, he's had such an incredible career. I think it's easy to forget that he's human. Um, did you console him at all after the game? And, and just um, how's he taken the loss? I mean, he's a, he's a competitor. He's a team player, obviously. So he's, you know, he's hurt about the game like, like anyone would be. Um, losing a game like that, it's tough. But, I mean, Travis makes up for a lot of the stu like stuff like that, just with the plays he makes. I mean, no one else can make some of the plays that he, that he made in the game. So just, you know, 
we're, like you said, we're all human. It's going to happen. And uh, I think some people put us on these pedestals, you know, especially a player like Travis, he's not going to make any mistakes and it's tough. It's also, it's a team game. Not everything's on him. You know, there's a lot of, there's a lot of things that aren't seen by the outside world that, that go into, that go into games and not everything's on his shoulders. So it's a team. So we win and lose as a team. And um, definitely, obviously he's, He's, you know, not happy just because we didn't win the game, but uh, he's going to bounce back. I know the type of competitor and player he is. He's going to be fine. Hey, Trevor, uh, you just mentioned a second ago about the, you know, potential end of your college career upcoming. I know when you discussed uh, the you never know what will happen a few weeks ago, it certainly got its its share of buzz from everybody else, um, including, I'm sure, a lot of Jets fans. I I'm just curious, in your mind, since you – had said like your plan was to go, have you, have, has something changed in your mind or is it just a matter of like, you're not predicting the future? Yeah, man, I, no, I mean, just my mindset is, is, is the same. And I, I really don't want to talk about it anymore, honestly. I'm just trying to enjoy my last whatever few months here, if that's what it's going to be. So whatever I decide to do, you guys will, you guys will know in, in January, February. So just, um, I'm just trying to enjoy it and, Obviously, I'm not trying to make a stir. I don't want any more people talking about me than they already are. So uh, my thing is I'm just never going to corner myself to where I have to do something just because of something I said in the past. So I'm leaving the door open for all my options. Um, and that's really that's really all I'm going to say about it. But um, just trying to enjoy my, my time here, however much I have, you know. Okay, so you don't Trevor, want to be terrible uh, about your pets and, and get everybody angry about that then? I would, what'd you say? So you don't want to just say something bad about the Jets and, and let that get out there then, right? No, man, I'm not, I'm, you know, that comment was really more so just to leave the door open. I mean, people want me to say, no matter what, for sure, I'm, I'm leaving school. And that's just not something I'm going to, I'm going to say. And that's, um, like, and that's, that's as simple as it is. So I'm never going to corner myself like that. And that's like, that's what people want to hear. At the end of the day, I want to leave myself opportunities and, you know, take everything in and make a decision. And, you know, obviously I'm not going to say that, you know, for sure I'm staying or for sure I'm leaving. So that's all it was. And it turns out that caused more of a commotion than if I would have said me, wouldn't have said anything. So who knows? Trevor, uh, how much do you think for the offense uh, this off week will be, is an opportunity to sort of take a step back and, and examine what defenses are doing to take Travis away? I mean, I know Notre Dame really was attacking uh, the A gaps, I guess, and 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 it seems that's something that uh, from the outside probably needs to be addressed. I'm just curious what your perspective is on that, and maybe how much um, how much of that needs to be tackled here with the extra time off. Yeah, I mean, we'll definitely look at it and make make the adjustments we need to. We do a good, you know, um, crossover on our off week, so we'll kind of study each other, the offense side, defense, defense side, the offense. So um, we'll. We'll look at that, and I think there's a lot of things that we can, you know, get better at, like always, and um, we'll, we'll figure some things out for sure and, and get better. Um, obviously, I don't know exactly what that is yet, but um, we'll definitely, obviously, work to get better, and we need to get better. Um, obviously, we didn't play our best game, but um, the future's bright, and I think that we got a lot ahead of us still. Trevor, this is Matt again. Kind of following up on Larry's question, is there anything you took away from being able to? Watch from the sideline or watch on TV um, that you that you think you can maybe carry over into the last few games of the season. Yeah, I think just um, uh, just for me, just continuing to be a leader, and it's it's obviously easier to be a leader when you are playing and you're a part of the game. It's harder being on the sideline and not being able to go out and play. It's it's a little bit harder to lead. But now that I'm back, really cherishing that and uh, realizing how important it is, and just um, like I said before, just taking it week week by week, and I think that's something that we'll really key on from now on, which we, we already did in the past for sure. That's that's how we operate, but just making sure that we take it one week at a time and just really enjoy everyone and um, try to try to get to where we want to go. And I think that's um, that's our mindset. That's my mindset. But yeah, I think the main thing is just leadership and continuing to get better at that and, and be there for the team. We have time for two more questions. No. Just with Cornell Powell, what did you see from him um, the past couple of weeks, and how have you seen him kind of grow throughout this senior year? Yeah, he's playing really well. Um, I think in football, really any position, but especially receiver, confidence is huge, and you can see him get some confidence, and he's playing 
really well because he's now he, he realizes like some of the plays he's made. He's like, I can do it. You know, I have confidence in, in my ability and my skill, um, all those things. I mean, I think that's a huge part of, of this game is just being confident. And that's that's how you can go make plays like he's making. So I love to see him um, getting his confidence as a fifth year senior. He's worked really hard, had to kind of wait in line. And obviously there's been some great receivers in, in front of him for the past few years. And now it's his chance. He's, he's, he's taking advantage of it. Um, so, you know, I got a lot of confidence in him and we're just going to keep getting better. And I'm, I'm, I'm happy he's playing really well. Trevor, just to be um, super clear, like, are you completely done with the reacclimatization stuff or like, do you have to ease your way into practice today or are you full go? Yeah, I think, um, I think I still have to, you know, ease into it a little bit. But, you know, the good thing is, as a quarterback, you don't really run a ton at practice. So um, I think for the most part, I should be back. But it's like I said, still have to, you know, get 100 percent, you know, clearance, you know, on the same page with Danny and make sure that I'm taking the right steps. I honestly don't know for sure. I'm sure that it'll be pretty normal for me today. Maybe not do a few things, but, you know, but after that, hopefully I'll be I'll be back. But yeah, I'm, I'm not really 100 percent sure.